Hello everyone, welcome to AI Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about array comparison element wise and array wise, then important logical operators. In addition to this, you don't need to take any notes. You just download the notes from my GitHub repository, which I will mention in the video description. Just go inside NumPy for artificial intelligence and download the respective file. So let's start the topic. First we will import the NumPy library. So import NumPy as np, execute it once. We are creating two arrays, a equal to 5 elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and b equal to 2, 2, 3, 5, 4, 1. Now we are going to compare these two array element wise. So the first operator is print a double equal to b if we mention single equal to means it's an assignment operator if it is double equal to means it's a comparison operator so when we executed so it's doing element wise the first element in array a compared with the first element in array b so one and two whether it's equal or not it's not equal so we got the output as false same way 2 is not equal to 3 3 is not equal to 5 so all first three values are false then when it come for number 4 4 is equal to 4 so it's true then 5 is not equal to 1 it is false very easily we can do the array comparison element wise next operator a is greater than b it is checking whether the first element in array A is greater than the first element in array B. Let me execute. So 1 is greater than 2, false. 2 is greater than 3, false. 3 is greater than 5, false. 4 is greater than 4. Here we just mentioned greater than. It is equal to. So that's the reason we got false. Then 5 is greater than 1. It is true. One more example, a less than b, when we execute, of course this will be opposite of a greater than b, true, true, true and same way didn't mention less than or equal to, that's why 4 is false and fifth one, 5 is less than 1 which is false. This is how we will do the element wise comparison. Then next one, how to compare the array wise, in this example, I am creating three arrays, array A, B and C, all the three arrays contain same dimension and you can see array A and array C are same but array A and array B are different. Just by seeing this number we can easily visualize but when you consider a very big array at that time we can't do it so the easier method is we can use equals method. The method is np dot array underscore equal here pass the argument a comma b it means it is doing the comparison between a and b when you execute it's going to be a, a single output it is false because the values are different for example while doing comparison three columns are same but one column are different means then also you will get false only now one more example array underscore equal comparing a and c when we execute it is true because element wise all the values are same so that's about the array comparison the first one is element wise comparison second one is comparing two arrays next one is logical operation so we created two array a and b trying to find the logical r if both values are false or zero then we will get output as false execute and show you np dot logical r so pass the argument as both the array when we execute so first three values are true because one one it's going to be true one zero true zero one true and both of them is zero then it's a false so that's how our condition will work 
next one is and if both the values are true or both the values are one then only you will get true for the remaining condition it's going to be false so np dot logical and a comma b since the first element alone same or alone true true you are getting true rest of the values are false next one is all method let me first code it then explain you the concept np dot all mentioning boolean values as a list true true false true when we use all method this will display true only if all the values are true if any one value is false then you will get the false output so when i execute you got the output as false one more example here we have a three matrix a b and c let's try to compare the condition so the comparison is a is less than or equal to b and a is less than or equal to c dot all method so when we execute this line you got the true what is the meaning so it is doing the comparison between a and b it is checking whether a is less than or equal to b so one is less than two two is less than four three is less than six four is less than eight exactly it is matching so it's a true here i am using and another condition comparing the a and c matrix here since i used less than or equal to so both the matrix are same now finally when i include dot all it is checking whether both the conditions are true of course both the conditions are true that's why we got the output as true same example just i change the number 9 instead of 4 it means the first condition will be true but the second condition will be false 9 is less than or equal to 4 which is false when we use all if any one is false you will get the output as false so that's about the all condition next one is any by the time you would have guessed any means if you have at least one true then you will get output as true it's like our condition and the last topic asking for help for example we have an array a now i want to know all details about this array means we can ask and help how it's very easy np dot info pass the array when you pass the array and run it it will display all the details about this array a it's like n dimensional array shape is 4 item size aligned or not then data type is float because 1.5 so all the properties of an array can be easily found with the help of info hope you got a clear picture about array comparison and logical operators that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning